Hello guys, welcome back. Now we are ready to go into the second part of our course and here we will learn and work with the stimulus JS and turbo hotwire. So let's start with a brief of stimulus JS. So stimulus JS is a JavaScript framework with modest ambitions. Unlike other front-end frameworks, stimulus JS is designed to enhance static or server rendered HTML or server side HTML. Okay, and using stimulus, we can connect our HTML element to JavaScript object on the page using the simple annotations okay these javascript objects are called controllers and stimulus continuously monitor the page waiting for html data controller attributes to appear for each such attribute stimulus looks at attributes value to find a corresponding controller class it then it creates a new instance of the class and connects it to the element okay and you can simply think of in such a way that like the class attribute connect your html element or dom element to the css properties stimulus data controller attribute connects your html to javascript okay and aside from controllers there are three more major stimulus concepts and that are actions targets and values okay actions means that connects controller methods to dom events using data action attribute and target which locates element of significance with a controller so we use data controller name and then the target okay so for example if my controller is let's say user then data user target and then i need to provide a value to the target okay and then the third concept is the value which read write and observe data attributes on the controller's element the use of stimulus data attribute helps you separate content from behavior in same way css separate content from presentation okay so let's start how we can use the stimulus in a rails application here we will do a really basic test to get the stimulus work for us okay in fact you can say that here we will just try to understand the data attributes of stimulus like uh, how we can use data actions how we can use data targets how we can use data values and data controllers in a html page okay so first we need to generate a stimulus controller in our rails application but before doing that let me tell you one thing uh, let me first switch to the project directory so now let me tell you one thing that since we store our rails controllers inside the app controllers directory we need to store our stimulus controller inside app javascript controllers directory and here you can see that there is a javascript directory inside the app and inside this javascript we have a stimulus uh, place for storing our stimulus controllers okay and these there are some files that you uh, get when you generate a new rails application so here you can see that in the controller there is stimul uh, application.js and there is a sample hello controller.js and there is a index.js file as well okay now whenever we create a new stimulus controller we need to store that controller into this app javascript controller directory okay and just like rails controller we can either create a stimulus controller manually or we can generate this using the rails generator command and in this lecture we will generate the stimulus controller using a rails generator command so let's switch to the terminal first and generate a stimulus controller so switch to the terminal and in this terminal open a new tab okay and keep your server running in other tab okay and now what you need to do that you just need to generate a controller using rails generator command so rails g stimulus okay make sure whenever you generate a stimulus controller you need to use this command rails g stimulus and then your controller name so for example we can say user underscore name okay and this will create a new controller inside the app javascript controllers directory with name username controller dot js okay and you can see this in the controllers directory inside the app javascript okay and here you can see that we have this controller username controller js and in this controller directory you can see that how we can connect a controller how we can connect an html or dom element to a stimulus controller so here you can see that we need to use this uh, uh, attribute on the dom element that is data controller and then we need to provide our stimulus controller name that is user hyphen name okay and you will see a connect function in this controller and this is the function where you can do something as soon as your stimulus controller gets connected with an html element okay so for now let's write a console.log command into this connect method so what we can do here come to this connect method and just add console.log and here we can simply write let's say i am connected 
okay and add something here and now just to save this controller file okay now open the index.html.erb template from app views home and let's connect this stimulus controller to our html element so just go to the app views and here you can see we have home directory and now open the index template from this okay and you can see that we have the user card information here and in the, the user card we have an element that is user info okay so now let's add the data controller here so just make a space here and add data controller and then your stimulus controller name should be here okay so here you can see class user info okay so just leave it class because this class will add this element to the css and this data controller and controller name will connect this element to the stimulus controller or you can see that to this controller okay and now if you save this okay and if you save this and go to the browser and just inspect the elements and go to the browser console okay now when you refresh the page you will see that i am connected displaying at 16 times okay why because here you can see that this user card is iterated inside within the loop okay or within the each iterator and we are limiting we are displaying 16 records at a time okay so here you can see that it is showing 16 times i am connected okay and now if you click on inspect this user card okay and you can uh, see the user info element is within the card body okay here you can see that this is the user info class element and here we added our data controller that is username or that is a stimulus controller okay so and in the console browser console again you can see that it is showing i am connected that it means that whenever uh, you uh, whenever the stimulus find a data controller username attached to any dom element it will automatically gets connected and then you can perform anything there since we just wrote uh, the console.log output there so we can see this output and this is just how you can simply connect an HTML element to the JavaScript object using stimulus. Now let's understand the use of targets in stimulate. Okay. And we already discussed that using target, we can locate elements of significance within a controller and your target must be like data controller name and target. Okay. So for example, if you are providing any target for your stimulus controller, so what you need to use data hyphen your controller name and then target okay so now let's add a target for our stimulus controller so come to the index template again and here you can see that we will add the target here to this h5 element where we are displaying the user dot name okay so we can add data and then our stimulus controller name and that is user hyphen name and then we can add target here okay and then we need to provide a value here so for example let's say name okay and one more thing you need to uh, notice here that i am using this data target to a h5 element okay if you wish you can try the same data target attribute on an input element or any kind of dom element okay we just need to point to the dom element with that and then we can perform operations accordingly okay so now just add the data username target name to it okay and after adding a target on the html element you need to define this target into your stimulus controller as well okay so save the index file okay and now go to the username controller i mean our stimulus controller and at before the connect method what you need to do that you need to define your targets here okay because if we define any target in the dom name then we need to mention all such targets in our stimulus controller as well otherwise it will be hard for a stimulus controller to find those target values okay so now what we need to do here is static okay and then targets and then here you can provide name okay and just notice here that the targets can be an array and you can define multiple targets to point the dom element okay and similarly you can add multiple actions for the data action attributes as well you just need one method that is connect okay A one time other than you can use multiple targets and multiple click events in your stimulus controller okay now save both user stimulus controller and the index template so save this controller and uh, go to the index file and save this as well if you have not saved it already and now come to the browser and refresh it and now uh, inspect a user card 
ओके यूजर कार्ड एंड हियर विद इन द यूजर इन्फो यू कैन सी दैट वी कैन सी नाउ डेटा यूजर नेम टारगेट ऑन द नेम एट्रीब्यूट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन यूज स्टिमुलस टारगेट सो वी कवर द डेटा कंट्रोलर एंड डेटा टारगेट इन स्टिमुलस वेरी ब्रीफली नाउ एज द लास्ट लेट्स सी हाउ एक्शन इन स्टिमुलस वर्क ओके सो हियर वी विल परफॉर्म एन एक्शन आई मीन वेन एनी वन क्लिक ऑन द यूजर नेम आई मीन दिस नेम यू कैन सी दैट वेन एनी वन क्लिक ऑन दिस नेम देन वी विल डिस्प्ले द क्लिक द नेम इन द अलर्ट डायलॉग ओके सो इन द सेम एच फाइव एलिमेंट वेयर वी डिफाइन द डेटा टारगेट वी नीड टू एड एड डेटा एक्शन एट्रीब्यूट ओके सो कम टू द इंडेक्स टेम्पलेट अगेन एंड हियर वॉट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू डिफाइन डेटा एक्शन ओके एंड इन द डेटा एक्शन फर्स्ट यू नीड टू परफॉर्म दैट ऑन व्हाट इवेंट यू वांट टू परफॉर्म दैट एक्शन ओके फॉर एग्जांपल आई वांट टू परफॉर्म दैट एक्शन ऑन क्लिक इवेंट सो यू नीड टू मेंशन क्लिक एंड देन एट द एरो साइन ओके एंड आफ्टर द एरो साइन फर्स्ट यू नीड टू मेंशन योर स्टिमुलस कंट्रोलर नेम ओके सो आवर स्टिमुलस कंट्रोलर नेम इज यूजर नेम ओके एंड देन वी नीड टू मैंशन वॉट फंक्शन और वॉट मेथड वी वॉन्ट टू कॉल वेन यूजर परफॉर्म्स क्लिक ऑन दिस टारगेट एलिमेंट ओके सो वी कैन डिस्प्ले लाइक ए वी कैन यूज इवेंट लाइक लेट से गेट यूजर नेम ओके so we defined the data action attribute here now what we need to do we need to define a get username function into the stimulus controller okay so just copy this function name and come to our username control controller i mean the stimulus controller and here what we need to do we need to define a method for it or a function for since we are using javascript so we can simply call it as function okay and since we need to display the username in alert box so we need to use the name target that we defined already okay okay so this target we need to use why because we want to display the well text content of this el dom element that we targeted okay so we need to use the target element here and what we can do here uh, const element and then this dot name target okay why name target because i defined the target name as name here so i need to use name target okay if it is other value for example let's say uh, username then you, you need to use username target here okay so let's define this uh, name target and after this what we need to do we need to get the text of the targeted dom element okay so const name equal to एलिमेंट डॉट टेक्स्ट कंटेंट टेक्स्ट कंटेंट ओके एंड देन वी नीड टू डिस्प्ले द नेम इन द अलर्ट बॉक्स ओके सो वी कैन सिंपली यूज अलर्ट डायलॉग हियर अलर्ट सॉरी अलर्ट एंड हियर जस्ट इंटरपोलेटेड यू क्लिकड ऑन ओके एंड देन प्रोवाइड द यूजर नेम ओके and this is how we can perform interpolation in uh, our uh, javascript okay or in our stimulus controller okay so we can display the name here okay now save the controller file okay and uh, uh, go to the browser and refresh the page okay so save it and switch to the browser and refresh your page okay and whenever you refresh the page and now try to click on a name on any user card okay and here you can see as soon as you click on the name you can see the user's name in the alert dialog and if you click on any other username you can see the same thing for other username as well okay so this is how we can use stimulus and our stimulus controller is working fine and this is how action works in stimulus and we saw a very basic but must know use of stimulus controller in a rails application and here we covered very important aspects of stimulus control Controllers like uh, data controllers, data targets, and action. Okay, and if we wish, we can use this approach to send an AJAX request as well, like we use for the jQueries. Okay, since we are not using jQuery, so we will perform all the AJAX and JavaScript operation using the stimulus controller. Okay, and now from the next lecture, we will start working on using stimulus JS for making HTTP request, and we will see how to open the Bootstrap model using stimulus and Turbo Frame Tag. Okay, meanwhile try. this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe